I got some news. Uh, I just finished uh, talking with the landowner, and he decided to uh, basically give me a, an area so I can build myself a semi-permanent shelter. The area I had picked out uh, gave me permission to uh, build a shelter and do uh, whatever I want, basically. Uh, I need to cut some trees down, make some room and stuff, so we talked about which trees we could cut down and he's okay with that. Um, so if you take a look over in that direction there, right there, okay, there's a short distance away from the brook, so I can use that for, there's actually quite a bit of fish in there, so I can go fishing, it's just right there. I can wash my hands and my face and all that with that water, it's nice and clear. Of course I can't drink it without purifying it, but the point is that there's a water source right there which is great. I also enjoy the uh, the noise of the water running. You hear that? Yeah, that's nice. And here's... Okay, so here's the main trail. Okay. There's the water. There's a little trail here. And then we're going to have a parking spot over here. Right now I'm just parked at the entrance here. If I go around. This tree is going to go. These little trees there are going to go. So basically, I've got this whole area here. All here to build my teepee. If we keep looking around, I've already done some clearing here. Okay, so all here I'll be able to do some bushcraft, maybe pile my wood over there. If you see in the background, there's a whole bunch of deadfalls. Okay, all those trees broke last winter. We had a huge ice storm and uh, a lot of trees were lost. A lot of them, the tops broke off. Like this one here is an example. This one, see how it stops right there? There's no branches, there's nothing living on that tree. The leaves are from another tree. But that one there is uh, dead. So there's plenty of firewood here. It's a nice spot. If you look off into the woods here, there's a lot of dead branches on the trees. and Basically by me using this area and building campfires and stuff, okay, eventually I'm going to clean all the branches up to head height. So like this tree here, we took all the branches off to clean the spot here and here, up to here, which they're all dead anyways, the live ones that are farther up, okay, so essentially what happens, uh, it cleans the whole area. Okay, and uh, it'll look nice and clean and you'll be able to see all the way to back there where the greenery is. And there's plenty of small game here. Um, there's plenty of squirrels. Uh, there's bunnies all around. There's plenty of large game as well. There's piles of moose uh, nuggets <laughs> all over the place. So uh, I'm pretty excited about it. Um, the forest here is, uh, well it's privately owned obviously, but the owner uses it to uh, cut firewood. This is how he heats his house, so having all these trails and stuff, uh, it's really not an issue because that's how he hauls the wood out of the uh, woods. Hey guys, I just finished eating my first supper at my new campsite. Not much of a setup, but uh, working on it. Just sitting here, looking around, taking in all the sights and such. I think it's going to be the perfect spot because there's firewood everywhere. We're nice and sheltered here with all the trees. 
from the wind. I mostly want this spot for the fall and winter months because there's a lot of small game around here and what I want to do is uh, snare, hunt, you know, all the fun stuff, bush grafting stuff and the spot that I've been spending all of my time up on top of the hill uh, it's not really conducive to that this is a much better spot although having so many trees around and having the water so close um, <clears throat> I imagine it's going to be a haven for mosquitoes but we're at the tail end of August right now it's still nice and warm but the mosquitoes are very manageable they're not too bad there's a few but they're not swarming me or anything like now right now um, but like I said the main reason why I want this spot or the times that I will be using this spot are mostly in the fall and in the winter months because I really enjoy hunting and this is going to be the perfect spot for it and see we're just a short walk away from nature's dishwasher there's a nice pool over there with plenty of trout we've actually I've caught three of them during this trip they were real good not very big but it's the end of the season so all the big ones are gone uh oh even small ones are good birds are going nuts I guess they think uh, they don't think I should be hanging around here The water's pretty clear. It's actually perfect for washing pots and pans. Now, <clears throat> yeah, I know I'm washing my pots in unclean water. There may be bacteria or whatever in there, but uh, whenever I cook my food, it, I always bring it to a boil, which, you know, if there were any microbes left over, um, it, it would get sterilized and would be safe anyways. Actually, I could use this water for cooking purposes, as long as I bring the water to a boil first. But if I'm making rice or mashed potatoes or whatever, I always bring the water to a boil anyways. So, it'd be alright. But I have the luxury of an overflow spring, just a short hike from here, or drive, whatever, with the ATV. So, uh, I use that instead because I can drink it too. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all my uh, eating stuff packed up and uh, I'm gonna decide as to whether I want to move my camp here for the night I've already test drove the uh, the meal part works good so I'm thinking of packing up my hammock and uh, bringing it down here it's all in the spirit of hammock camping right it's easy to just basically pull up stakes and move to some other spot, which is basically what I'm going to be doing. And another thing too, you hear less of the traffic here. You still hear it, but it's a lot quieter than up on top of the hill. So I got both tree huggers on. These are nice sturdy trees. And they should sway in the wind, so that should give me a little bit of a, 
of a rocking sensation during the night. I like to put the hammock about head level. Looks uh, as even as possible. Looks level. I always roll up my hammock from the entrance to the foot. Always. That way there I know when I set it up if I want the entrance which works out to be at my feet on this side I know I need to start on this side. There, we should do it. Tree hugger there. And then you see it's level. Tree hugger there. In the back. Tree. So I can tie that outrigger, that's no problem. Now over here, because I cleared the area, there's no tree. So what I did is I tied the, the bungee outrigger, whatever you want to call it, to a stick, which I cut the proper size. And then I took a piece of paracord and attached it to a peg that I made right there. Okay, so that's a good foot into the ground. This here is just sitting there so I can adjust it. It's It can move like it wants. Okay, and since this is a bungee cord, the tension will be uh, kept on there. And uh, that's it. Notice the big glob of paracord there. Instead of cutting it, <clears throat> I just used the length, full length, and left the excess to sit right there. The next step is something that I do whenever I set it up, okay? And it's to basically lay in it. Everything's gonna sag and tighten up. Usually what happens at that point, I have to adjust one of the lines, so I have to undo my knot, tighten it up once I uh, lay in it for the first time. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Make sure I have no sharp objects on me. Just clip it on one side. Shiny side down. The bag that the Hennessy hammock comes in, which has the instructions on it and everything, and the bottom has a, a loop. I can hang this on the ridge line. There it is. It's not perfectly level, but it's okay. Plenty of room in here. There, now that my home for the night's set up, I'm gonna move in. All of my bedding fits inside this bag. Next up, my boomstick. For safety reasons, okay, show you right here. There's no shell in the chamber, okay. But I do keep shells in the magazine. So even if the safety were to go off, there's no way a shell will get in the chamber during the night. So uh, that should take care of pretty near anything that could cause a problem out here. So it's going in next.
Safety is always priority on with any firearm. Make sure you know how to handle it properly if you're going to use one.